if you were to go back to when you're neither high school or college and you're having a conversation with your 20 year old self what is the best piece of advice that you tell your younger self don't be a bitch seriously it's that simple don't be a bitch people don't realize that a teenager did not exist until 1944 the word teenager never existed until just prior to the end of the second world war before you had boys and you had men it's either you went to war you had a family you got married your dad died and you needed to replace him as the head of your family there was no teenager now since 1944 we got a bunch of men child that end up being 28 years old they're like what the fuck happened to my life so if i could say to somebody that graduate let's say 20 22 years old you're out of school what do i do now do the fucking work don't have kids early to be honest with you i have kids at 20 i have four kids now i'm 43 been working my whole life and taking care of kids haven't had time to enjoy my life set out and do what you want to do and follow your dreams before you have kids and get married the school of hard knocks put that in there because i've been through it i can tell you that right now finish college did you end up dropping out of school i did why would that be the advice that you tell your younger self because you should always finish what you start if you start it finish it maybe it helps you maybe it doesn't at the end of the day i got blessed i didn't need that degree but it still would be nice to have it hanging on my wall and what industry did you end up pursuing i'm in oil and gas oil and gas yeah and i've been very successful from hard work, dedication, and being loyal to the company I work for. In today's world, there's a lot of controversy behind renewable energy, of oil course. and gas. What are your thoughts on the future of the oil and gas industry and what it holds for people that are pursuing that industry in today's world? You definitely can't do without it, although a lot of people think you can. That cell phone you're interviewing me with is from oil and gas. The industry has to evolve where the world is going, but it has to understand its position, taking care of the environment, taking care of people. Just don't regret whatever you do. Whatever you do, do it. No regrets. Because you're either right or wrong, you still got to live with yourself. What was the most amount of money that you ever made in a single year? I had about 200. 200,000? Yeah. What industry did you ultimately pursue a career in? Uh, I'm construction. I got own my own construction. You own your own construction company. Yeah. What advice would you give to someone wanting to start a business going into 2023? Well, you can't get greedy. Build a table so everybody can eat. Not just a wall, just to isolate yourself. Starting in 2023, how can someone start their path to becoming financially free? If Don't get married yet. Stay away from women right now. Don't take it serious. If you get involved with a woman, it's over with because now you got to think about her and your future and all that. You got to go at it full, full scale. Do you think a college degree is necessary to be successful in today's society? No. Helpful, but not necessary. Not at all. Everybody I know that's successful and runs a business has nothing to do with college. In fact, I think that's the worst way of doing it. I think an open mind is necessary to be successful. Like, don't let other people tell you what you may be able to do or not to do. It's all up to you. A college degree might help because the society is set up that if you have a degree, you have certain advantages, but it also can hold you back because, for example, if you get a good job with your college degree, it's less likely that you will become an entrepreneur because it's very hard to give up a good job. But if you don't have a degree, so you, don't have, you have less to lose, you are more willing to take risks.